Okay, great scholars, let us consider still the mean of a given distribution. Let's see how mean is applied in algebra. Let's see how mean is applied in algebraic problems. Let's see how many is applied in algebraic problem. Let's see a problem of this type. Examples. If the mean of 4y and 9 is 6, find the value of y if the question is if the mean of 4 y and 9 is 6 find the value of y from the question that is given to us the question is algebraic because we have a letter we have the unknown variable we have to find the unknown variable now from the question given to us you understand that the mean has already been mentioned to us. The sentence is, if the mean of 4, y, and 9 is 6, which means the mean is 6. So they have given us a mean already. So you need to state your formula. State your formula. Mean is equal to summation f over n. Now that they have given us mean to be 6, I'll replace You've been taught substitution in mathematics also. I'll replace the mean with the value given to me, which is 6. 6 is equal to summation f will be 4 plus y plus 9. All over, there are three numbers. 1, 2, 3. Don't count this one part as part of the numbers. This is the mean value. So we have three numbers here. Let us add the number we have. 6 is equal to 4 plus 9 is 13. That would be 13 plus y is equal to 3. From this point, you can cross multiply. After expressing 6 as a fraction, you can cross multiply. So if you cross multiply, cross multiply, you have 6 over 1 is equal to 13 plus y all over 3. Cross multiply, you have 13 plus y is equal to 18. So what will be y? This is this is a simple equation in mathematics. Plus 13 is going to the other side becomes the inverse. That will be y is equal to 18 minus 13. So y is equal to 5. So if the value of y is 5, we can cross-check the answer and see if we are right. How do you cross-check your answer? That y is 5, which means the distribution given to you originally was 4, 5, and 9. Now, if this is true, then find the mean of 4, 5, and 9. The mean will be simply be 5 plus 4 plus 9 over 3. That is 18 over 3. That will give you 6, which was what was given to us in our equation there. So our answer is correct. So you can see how mean has been applied in that problem. Let us see if we can deal with another example. Another example to help us understand better before you can try some yourself at all. Another example, let's see. If, the question given, if the mean of 3x, x plus 2, 4, and 5 is 10, find x, and x plus 2. Find x and x plus 2. Let's do with that also quickly. Solution, state the formula. Mean is equal to summation f over n. From what we have here, we have been given 3, we have been given x, we have been given x plus 2, we've been given 4, 5, and the mean value is 10. 
Because the question is if the mean of 3, x, x plus 2, 4, and 5 is 10. So it means the mean is 10. Do not forget, x is a different number. x plus 2 is a different number. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 numbers here. So since our mean is 10, I'll replace it with 10. It's equal to 5. The 5 numbers are 3 plus second number x plus the third number, which is x plus 2. x plus 2 is a number on its own, plus 4 and plus 5. All over the 5 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There are 5 numbers here. Please. x plus 2 is a number on its own. X plus 2 is a number on its own given to us in the equation. So don't end up counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and telling me that the number is 6. They gave us 3, X, X plus 2, 4, and 5. That's what they said in the equation. So X plus 2 is a number on its own. If you want to introduce bracket to it, no problem. You can cover it up with the bracket, but at last you still open up the bracket or expand the bracket and deal with it properly. But don't forget that x plus 2 is a number on its own. So we have 5 numbers. n is 5, not 6. Now uh, we have here 5. So let's add the numbers up. 3, let's add the numbers. 3, 2, 5, 9, 14. So we have 10 is equal to 14. Then x plus x is 2x. x plus x is 2x all over 5. You can now cross multiply from here. Cross multiply. 14 plus 2x will give us 14 plus 2x. And 10 times 5 will give us 50. We want to find x at first. So 2x will stand properly. So that the plus 14 will leave. That will be 50 minus 14. It becomes its inverse. That will be 2x is equal to 36. 2x is equal to 36. And... Uh, Yes, 2x is equal to 36. So what will be x alone? Therefore, x will be equal to 36 divided by 2. 2 is leaving. That will give us that will give us 18. So our x is 18. So you can now take it down. Writing, therefore, the number 1, they said find x. x is 18. Number 2 says find x plus 2. What will be x plus 2? That will be 18 plus 2 because our value for x is 18. That will give us 20. So x is 18 and x plus 2 is 20. So you can cross check your answer. So the actual the actual uh, problem given to us to solve the numbers were 3, 18, 20, 4, and 5. These are the five numbers given to us. If you add them up, this is this is 21, 41, 45, and 50. If you divide 50 by 10, by 5, if you divide 50 by 5 numbers, you have 10, which is the mean given to us from the beginning. So these are you solve problems relating to the algebra. Algebra has to do with uh, statistics, precisely the mean values. I will give you this exercise to do yourself and try them and see if you get the correct answers. Do this for me. You're going to do this yourself. Be careful in solving the problems. Be careful. But use my, my examples you have there and ensure you solve the problems correctly. Number one is if the mean of exercise one, if the mean of y, y minus 2, 4, 3, 2, and y plus 2 is 8. Find the value of number 1 or a, y, b, y minus 2, c, y plus 2. The second question is if the mean of 3, 7, y, and 
2 is 4. Find the value of y. So carefully go through these questions. Use my example to solve what you have there as your exercise. Get the answers correctly and remain studious and make your parents and the school and the world proud. See you.